Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Nature's Beauty. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, today, I want to play around a little bit with Not Enough Roofs. It is a mod in this pack that, well, it adds options for roofs, as you would expect from the name. Uh, so, uh, what I want to do is just build kind of like a real simple little house. Let's just grab some spruce planks. And then we're going to need some slate right here. Uh, let's grab... How, how much of this do I have? Not much. Okay. We'll make a stack of it. Uh, or I'll smelt up a stack of it. And that will turn it into slate bricks. So we'll just... Uh, let's actually do it this way. That'll be much faster. There we go. It'll do its thing. Shouldn't take too long. But well, that's kind of working. Let's start building uh, a little bit of a fairly simple house here. I, I'm not going to try and do anything ridiculously crazy, but um, let's maybe put it maybe right here. This little house needs to go anyway. So why don't we just tear this guy down? And then we'll uh, we'll do a not enough roofs house right here that will kind of allow us to play around with this. I've been thinking a lot about the village and trying to figure out what I want to do. Um as far as, you know, changing the village and making it better. Because the thing is, like, and I know I mentioned this uh, last episode when I kind of talked about it a little bit, but I did something very similar in FTB Beyond, right? And, you know, I don't want this to be just like a rehash of what we did in FTB Beyond. I want this to be uh, different, but at the same time, um, I mean... It, it's Minecraft, and I have a certain build style, and, you know, in some ways, it's going to kind of end up being that no matter what I do. So, it, it, I'm trying to find, like, uh, trying to, like, strike a balance between doing something that's fun and that I will enjoy uh, and that will look good and make sense in kind of, like, the lore of this world. And also, at the same time, is something kind of unique and different from what we've done in previous series. So... Um, it's going to be kind of interesting. We'll, we'll try and figure something out. As far as our walls go, let's maybe go... Let's see, that's the default. Let's maybe go here with these guys. And let's just start kind of laying out a little bit of a shape. Maybe we'll go... What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be be okay. Let's actually extend it one here and do that because we've got this light pole right here that I don't want to mess with. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be like a seven by nine house. But then we want to extend this and make it a little bit more interesting because this isn't a very good shape. So I'm thinking like right here, we'll just kind of bump this bit out like so. We'll just do something like that. And then... Maybe over here we can add... Something like that. Just to give it a, a bit of a different shape, right? So we essentially have four boxes, or three boxes. We've got a box here. We've got a little box right here. And then we have a little box right over here. And then we'll just kind of build that up. So, Builder's Wand, there we go. Hey, come here, you. There we go. So, let's go one, two, three, four. Let's go up like that high. And then this little bit right here, I'm going to bring this down. Uh, let's actually just bring it down one below everything else. That should do. And then, for the minute, I'm just going to throw a couple torches in here, and that should be fine. And I'll put a door, like, right there. That seems too high to me. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a little bit too high. So let's bring this down by one level. Um, there we go. I'm just going to make a little, make a little staircase. Do, 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 do. And we'll just kind of tear all this out. 
There we go. And then I'll bring this one down one more. There we go. Okay. So we've got kind of our basic shape for our house here. And then from here, we need to decide on roof shapes. So let's say there we'll build this up at an angle like so. Oh, did I? I totally did. Well, that was foolish of me. Um, okay. Easy fix. Really want that to be an odd number. <laughs> there we go. So now... There, right? So we've got... These should be the same height. Yeah, good. Okay. And then right here... We'll build that bit up like so. So it's going to end up looking something like that, I think. And we'll go there. Let's see. So stair. Um, actually, we won't. I do want this lower. Which is going to be a little weird from the inside, but I think actually we could just do this. Yeah, that'll totally work. Okay, cool. So now, now that we have our basic shape for the house done, let's come over here and let's make some of these roof pieces. And I'm not, I haven't used this mod before. Um, so we'll see, oh, duh, my furnace is in here. Let's grab these and let's just make some spruce planks like so and apparently you just make them like that um let's make a few more that should be enough for the time being and then let's try these things out. They gives us this kind of slate roof texture which I think is really cool. It's like it's about to be night, isn't it? It totally is. That's all right. We'll work for a little bit longer before we go take a, uh, a nap. But then these are pretty nifty. You can just kind of bring them out like so. And I think they look pretty good. There we go. Uh, all right, let's go sleep before stuff spawns all over the place and makes our life miserable. I also need to make a proper bedroom at some time, uh, at some point in the near future. Also, I see Dynamic Surroundings has updated uh, F3D. Aha, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Then the other thing we need is these ridge roofs. Uh, and those are also pretty easy to make. Oh, it, right, can't use chiseled there we go so we'll just make some of these I don't know if that will be enough if it's not I can make more slate uh, roof pieces and that's fine okay so now the question is will these act like stairs good they totally will okay so this is good. That was one thing that I was concerned about was that they wouldn't have like corner pieces. But they totally do. Uh, let's see. You will come over here. And that's all good. Hopefully I'll have enough. I may need to make more, but we'll see. So then... Let's just build this bit up. That one will come all the way across. And do do. We'll just kind of bring this over as well. There we go. And then here, 
We've got kind of a corner. Oop. Uh, axe is the proper tool. And then we'll, once this is done, we'll be able to take a look and kind of see what we think. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty cool. But we'll see. There we go. Here. Please don't let me be like three roof pieces short. <laughs> I think we'll have enough. It looks like we will. Yeah, we're good. And then we just need to do these guys. Uh, how can I place... Does this need to go on top of something? I think that needs to go on top of something. Okay. Can I place these upside down? I can, but they don't... That does not look good at all. Okay. So, let's go put you back. Um... <laughs> let's kind of rearrange a couple things here. Just clear out my inventory so I can figure... So I can decide what I want to do. Uh, okay. So, grab some spruce... Make a crafting table. Uh, speaking of which, you know what? Before I forget, there is a portable crafting table in this mod pack that I just haven't gotten around to making yet. Let's do that before I forget about it. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep making crafting tables over and over again, and that's just silly. So it's just a crafting table and a piece of string? Or maybe it's a stick. That's right. I changed the recipe. Uh, do I have any sticks? Here we go. So it's like that. There we go. Portable crafting table. Beautiful. Put that back. And then let's see. I Since I'm, I'm assuming the top roof bits need to have a piece under them, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but uh, I mean, I guess I can live with it. Um, that needs to go away as well. That's very out of place. So, if those need a roof piece underneath... Let's just see here. Let's just make a slab. We'll put... Uh, and actually, let's make some stairs as well. Oh, not you. Come back. No! Ah, whatever. Let's do that. And then... Let me just pillar up here. And then we can try this again. Uh, I don't need the chisel anymore. Let's grab our roof pieces. Yeah, and now it can go there no problem. Ugh, okay. So, that means... We need some sort. Can I make that jump? Nope. <laughs> That's fine. Let's uh, get up there right here. This will be fine. So that means we need stairs underneath all of these little bits or slabs. One or the other. Like we can't just do the roof bit on its own. There we go. Let's just make a whole bunch of slabs. And we'll just slab off the top of this. And then will this connect? Oh, it totally does. That is beautiful. I love it. And we had exactly enough of those top bits. Okay, cool. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Uh, although, actually, before we do, Let's make a few more stairs so we can fill in those bits there here 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 and there should be one more si oh I already did that side 
so we should be good. Yeah, okay. So now, if we take a look at that from over here... Yeah, that looks okay. And that looks pretty good. And that also looks pretty good. I quite like this. Maybe right here, it would be better to just kind of shrink that down a little bit. Um, no, I don't think so. I liked it better the way it was. It just seems, it, this is such a weird scale right here to kind of build on. There we go. Because it either is too flat or it's not flat enough. I suppose you could chisels in bits, something like this. Although I don't think that since this isn't a full block, I have a feeling chisels and bits wouldn't work. But in the name of science, let's find out. If I go plain, nope, I didn't think so. But I wanted to check anyway. Okay, so that looks decent. Let's go ahead and let's make like a little dormer. Like, let's see. Here's the center. Let's go to like here. And let's just make like a little three wide dormer window right here to kind of add just a little something to this side, make it look a little bit better. So we'll go like here. And then you need to come back, you need to come back, and you come back over there. Okay, that's all good. And then we go here. There. Here. We'll end up bringing these out one more. Uh, and actually, I need stairs as well. So we gotta go boop, boop, boop. And then we need what? One, two, three, four more of those uh, little roof top bits. But that'll just add a little something to that house and make it look a little bit more interesting on that side as well. And then it's just a matter of adding windows and a floor and all that kind of stuff, I think. Uh, do I have any more? Eh, not many. Let's just do that. That should be enough. There we go. And then that's regular spruce. Here we go. I just need four. Okay. So then we'll grab this. Hop over here. And I'll just pillar up using stairs, because why not? There we go. And one, two, three, four. Lovely. Just a little uh, just a little dormer addition there. I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah. That's nice. That's not a bad little house. Cool. All right, well, tell you what, let me go ahead and get some more stuff done to it. Let me add the windows and uh, maybe, you know, floors and all that kind of stuff. I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and I'm almost done with the house, but I need to do the windows. And I just realized I have five pieces. I have five glass blocks and no glass panes and uh, no sand, basically. So <laughs> I need to go and find some sand. And I thought, you know, we're on a little adventure. Let's go on a little bit of an adventure together. Why not? It'll be fun. Um, so I just need to set off and kind of find some stand. But uh, yeah, as far as the village goes, like I'm looking forward to the project. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to handle some aspects of it. That is a really deep ravine. Um, and any ideas would certainly be appreciated. I'm thinking kind of what I'm leaning towards doing right now. Aha, sand. Uh, what I'm leaning towards doing right now is building houses kind of in the style of the house that we just built. Uh, it's, they're certainly different from what we did in FTV Beyond. I mean, uh, to be honest, I kind of have like this, I, I have sort of my build style, right? That I, that I like and that I enjoy. 
uh, and that, that I'm comfortable with and all that kind of stuff too, but also that just kind of fits with Minecraft. <laughs> um, you know, like we could totally build um, any number of different styles, but I really think that when it comes to Minecraft, because of the blocks and stuff that are available and that exist in this game, I think that kind of rustic style or sort of like a medieval style just really makes the most sense and is the most fun in Minecraft, at least for me. You know, everybody to each their own. Some people love building modern houses and stuff like that. And like, I can build a modern house. I'm capable of it, but it just seems like so out of place to me. It's it's very kind of like modern houses for the most part are kind of sort of like immersion breaking in a world like this where you've got farms and villagers that are running around using hoes and tilling soil and you've got swords and uh, you know you chop down trees with a lumber axe and all this other kind of stuff and then it's like oh by the way but really we're in the modern era. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't fit like my head cannon uh, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah I, I don't know. I, I think this type of style could totally work. And this is a, a fairly simplistic example of it. Um, there's a lot of other stuff we could do that's kind of along this lines, but I think this is like a good size. Um, it's not overly complicated, which I think is good when you're building, like when you build really large scale projects, like, you know, an entire village or something like that, you don't want to go overboard with the complexity of it because it'll take you, it, it would take me like, you know, four episodes to do a single house, and that's just ridiculous. Um, also, sand, you, uh, let's do 16. There we go. We'll just get that cooking up into glass. Uh, actually do two more. 18, lovely. Okay, and then I don't think that you can chisel glass panes, but I actually like the vanilla glass pane texture. Like just, it, it's fine. It's totally okay with me. Uh, and it fits kind of within this whole style anyway. So what I'm thinking we'll do, I'm gonna put in some of these uh, framed stairs from Block Craftery, which is essentially like Carpenter's Blocks, if you're familiar with Carpenter's Blocks. It's very similar. We'll do something like this. Uh, I'm kind of looking at this. Oh, actually, yeah, that kind of has to stay right there. So let's kind of do, 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 do. And then we'll just fill in all these windows. And I actually need one right there as well. Good. And then we'll just fill in some windows like so. There here. So that should be all of our windows. And then last, we just need some more of, was it this texture? I think we use that texture. Yes, good. And that way we can have stairs for, uh, this chiseled texture, even then you, you could do it with carpet or with uh, chisels and bits as well. But this is just way simpler, much less of a headache to do it this way. But that way we get a tiny amount of depth. And I think that works out pretty well. So there we got a nice little house and there's some other things we can do to kind of dress it up, too. I'm thinking maybe we'll go and grab. Actually, we do have quark. So. Uh, let's see, how many of these do I need? Five, I think? Yeah, we need five of these. And then let's grab a couple of flowers. Uh, what do we have for like, new flowers? I like these. Maybe we'll try that one and then maybe these as well. We got three of those, so that, that might work pretty well. Um, and then I want three coarse dirt. Let's just try this out and see what we think. I, I want to make a little a little planter box if you hadn't already discerned that from <laughs> the stuff that I was grabbing. So I'm thinking like right here, we go one, two, three. We'll grab our spruce trap doors. 
from Quark, like so. And I like these because they kind of look like a barrel, although the handle is a little annoying to me. And then we can just put some flowers there, maybe? Let's try out these other flowers as well. That one, I think, is a little bit too tall. Ooh, that one's nice, though. Let's go here and there. We'll just kind of... something like that. You know, just a real simple little planter box there to kind of add a little bit of interest. And then last, we just need a door. Um... Ooh, I wonder what the door for this looks like. Also, how did this tree get here? I was mining, uh, well, not mining, but I was farming trees earlier. Maybe the, the saplings automatically plant themselves if you don't pick them up? That'd be kind of cool. It's possible. That might be a thing. No, there's no door for that wood. Okay. Well, let's go... I really don't want to use a... Sp well, you know what? We could probably get away with a spruce door. It's a very sprucey house, but that's okay. We'll just go there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Just a nice, simple, little kind of rustic house. It's not super medieval, obviously. But it's definitely rustic. Very kind of like log cabin sort of feeling. I like it. I think it will do nicely. And you know what, guys? I think I am unfortunately out of time for this episode. So I gotta call this one right here. Let me know what you think of the house. Let me know what you think of building uh, kind of in this style for the rest of the village. Um, it, we'll change up some of the different woods used and things like that. But just kind of this general build style I think we could probably make use of. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.